what up what up my love so i am back and i felt like i just had to jump on and i don't know if this is going to be a rambling of a mambo or a venting of a mambo but you fall in wherever it falls with you i was cleaning and tuesdays are normally my day off i'm normally my only day off and so if i have readings to catch up on or whatever i try to do that today i was in here cleaning the baseboards and everything in fact look like i lost my earrings somewhere so i must have been going fast and furious but I kept getting notifications on my phone. My phone is going ding, 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 ding. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on where all these notifications are coming in and I'm starting to look at them and I'm reading them. And a lot of it was about people who were like trying to rush their 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 manifestation, you know, rush the, the outcome of readings or whatever. You know, I put in the time, Mambo, when is it gonna happen? Snap, pop a crack, Mambo, come on. Make it happen, Mambo do what you do first of all it takes time takes patience anything that you want what is it said you know it's worth waiting for for some of us you got to set your intent you have to pray on it you need to go ahead and do the work that you need to do to make this thing move forward but a lot of people don't want to do that nowadays they you know they want to like you know what is it I'm so old that tv show bewitch where she used to you know wiggle her nose or she would snap her fingers and something would happen for a lot of you younger ones it would be what sabrina the teenage witch you know instant magic is what people want and it it doesn't exist like that you guys that's hollywood that's hollywood it would be great and i'm not saying that there aren't any um mystical magicians that can't make some things happen but for the majority of people it doesn't quite happen that way it takes a little bit more time I will say that when you come into my inbox and you automatically start off with, oh, whoa, it's me, it's not happening, it's not coming through quick enough, Mambo, I need you to jump through some hoops, do a flip, you know, belly flop or whatever and, you know, wiggle, wiggle, you know, do something to the side and make it happen and I don't get a hello or nothing. That is so disrespectful to me, you guys. It really is. And if y'all keep coming in my inbox, the ones that keep doing it in my inbox and not saying, hello, how you doing, what's going on, you're not getting a response from me. In fact, you might get blocked, deleted, because I feel like that's rude. If you want to speak to me, address me properly when you come in my inbox. I don't mind helping. But I'm not going to have people just coming in and feeling like you snap your fingers and I'm going to jump. I don't do that shit for nobody. I promise you. Nobody. Can make me do that so when you do that to me you you irritate me which probably is what made me jump on here but i want to talk about manifestation in the spiritual when you ask for something from your god your goddess your deity your ancestors the spirits that walk with you the luada orisha there is divine timing attached to that which means that even though you may want it asap doesn't mean that that's what they're going to do for you work is work and they call it work because it takes time which means that if you're doing candle work you literally are not going to light this candle and have something manifest within that that first 30 seconds is that's what people want you know come on make it happen like now i want this person back i want this new job i want this and that but then i get what are you doing what are you doing for it that's normally what i ask what, what have you put into it what is the energy you put into it uh well, goddamn. So we set the intent, we did the work, and we just let it sit there. It's a candle. Literally. It's a candle. So you're praying over the candle, you're putting your roots and everything on the candle, and you're setting your intent, and you're lighting the fire, which is heating the work up, right? But then we got opportunities that could be coming in but you don't know because there's no further action and i'll explain that when i decided to go to haiti to get initiated i needed a, a a shitload of money to go that i didn't have and so i was like spirit ancestors your girl needs some help i need some help now my prayer has always been open the door i'll walk through i'll do the work spirit from as long as i can remember open the door because I, 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 I feel like a freeloader if I don't work for something. So I told Spirit, every since I was a little kid, open the door, I'll do the work. And so 
I already had a job, was working that job. And I was like, Spirit, I need this money. What are we going to do, Spirit? You know, I want, I want an inheritance to come in. So I'm doing the scratch-offs. You know, I'm like, come on, hit me. Hit me with that 10000 Hit me, Hit me with some 15000 Spirit. And, you know, I would do the scratch-off. $2 here, $5, you know, maybe 10 I think the, the most I got was like 40 So I was like, okay, put that in the savings because I asked for it. And then somebody called and they said, well, we heard great things about you, you know, we're going to go ahead and hire you because we heard good things So you, you whenever you want to start. So I was like, well, shit, got a second job. Wasn't even trying to get a second job, got a second job. Third job calls, and he goes, you know, your client told us great things about. We got a part-time position open. Can you come in and make this work? I was like, uh, yeah, I can. I'll come there. And so I was working three jobs, and I was like, spirit, that I'm, that's it. That's his spirit, you know. I can't, don't, no, no, job number four. God damn it, spirit. God damn it. But I told them if they opened the door, I would go in and I would work and I did it. And the money came in and I appreciated it. And I think they did it because I asked for them to do it that way. And it made me more grateful. I appreciate it. it. The work was put in and it took me to where I needed to be. But it was something that I manifested because it was the way I worded it. It was the way I put it out there. And it was one of those things where it came in. It literally came in. And it came in in six months. But it was because of my hard work. So not only did I put the intent and ask for what I needed, but I told them if you open the door, I will go in and I will do whatever it takes to get to that point because you've given me these opportunities. And that's exactly what they did. So when you're manifesting and you're expecting things to come in, you can't just do the, the prayers. You can't just do the, 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 you know, the herbs, the lighting of the candles, you know, the, the spiritual baths and, and expect that things are just going to pop off for you. Sometimes spirit is like, we need you to put some incentive, some in, incentive into it. Let's see how bad you want it. Let's see where your priorities are. A lot of times too, it could be the maturity level. Are you mature enough to deal with what we bring into you? Are you mature enough to be able to handle what you're asking for? When I was in my 20s, didn't have any boobs or anything like that. And Spirit probably knew that if I did, I was going to be out there acting a goddamn fool. Be up there, you know, pumping and everything. So Spirit's like, no, we ain't going to even give you none of that. They gave me boobs at, what, 48 years old. What the fuck am I going to do with them now? Now, don't. I can still catch somebody's grandpa. But the point was, if they had given me something that I wanted at that age, things could have been completely different because I didn't have the maturity to deal with it. So for some that are trying to rush things, you have to understand maybe there's some healing that needs to be done. Maybe there's some growing that needs to be done. Maybe there's some, some family issues that need to be taken care of. There's a reason why things aren't coming through the way you need them to. And it could be because you still have some work, some things you need to do on yourself. Not saying that it won't happen. It's just saying the spirit is like, we got to take care of some stuff and move it out the way. So then when this opportunity comes in for you to get what you want, you're ready for it. You're, you're more mature. You know how to handle it better. So for the ones that are coming in and it's like, well, I want this now, Mambo, make it happen now. I can tell you reading some of the cards, no, you're not ready for it. You're not ready. Or you're not putting in the proper action. You're doing, you know, part of the work. But when it comes in the physical, you're not following through. You want the job, update the resume, put it out there. You want the love and you feel like I need to lose weight. I need to get healthier. I need to be in a better place. You got to do that before you bring this in because what happens is if you try to bring it in beforehand, it may not work out for you the way you want, especially if you're trying to manifest. And I get these people that are like, you know, I want to snap my fingers and make it happen right then and there. You got to understand what energy are you putting back into spirit? You're asking them to use their energy to manipulate things for you in the physical, you know, open doors, you know, open, bring me jobs, you know, put, put my name in people's mind, you know, do this for me, which is taking energy from them. But for a lot of people, it's like, okay, what are you putting back into them? Are you working your altars? Are you saying your prayers? Are you helping in the community? What are you sewing back in that justifies the, the, the help that they're giving? 
I know a lot of times we look at the ancestors and we say, you know, my blood, my people, just because, just because you my people, I know you're going to, you got me, you're going to look after me. And the ancestors will back you up, but that doesn't mean abuse that relationship. Some of us have abused it when they were living and we're still abusing it while, while they transitioned, they've crossed over, you know, come do this for me, come do this for me now got to be more respectful with spirit we have to understand that in the midst of what we want we're putting in the proper type of energy that we're being respectful not only to spirit but to the people that are working with us you know you have to understand that just because we want it now and I don't even get where this guy I don't I didn't grow up like that and I guess maybe because I grew up in a household where we didn't have it like that so I don't get this you know make it happen you know uh do it now you know whatever money you have give it to me make me let, let it let it take care of me or whatever i'm like okay wait a minute wait a minute you 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 you're being very entitled you're 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 feeling like you're deserving of something that maybe you're not deserving of at that time especially if you're not putting any work into it so when you're dealing with a worker or a spiritual worker or a healer and you're telling this person to rush things up, you know, when is it going to happen for me? You literally have to look at yourself and say, what am I doing to make this happen for me? What needs to be cleared up? What needs to be set up? What, what exactly is going to open these doors for me that I could be doing and then move forward with it? Because if you're paying somebody for work and you're sitting back with your feet on the couch and you're waiting for that phone call to come in, you know, well, this happened or, you know, we, we got what you want. You may not get it that way. You guys, you may not get it that way. Manifestation can be tricky, can be really, really tricky because it goes back to, is it the right time for it to happen? Have, have things been cleared out so that there's no obstacle to this? Is this even the right thing for you? You know, I get so many people that come in the inbox. I want this toxic, abusive person back. I don't care what it takes. I want them. I'm calling them back into my life because I don't want them to move on without me or be with other people. Why? And then you wonder why spirit blocks those things because they already said we released you from that. This person was blocking you. This person was blocking your progress or your growth, but yet you want us to bring that person in. We're not going to let that happen. So you can have moments where spirit rejects things that we ask for because they're not healthy. And they know that. Especially if you have protective ancestors, they're like, we don't want this person back into your life. So we're not going to let it happen. And I think people have to understand that not everything that you manifest or ask for is supposed to come back to you. It may not be for you. And it could be in a way that is trying to protect you. But I get this thing of, and looking just at the inbox today, it's almost like, when is this person coming? When are they going to do what I want them to do? When is my money coming in? When is this job coming? When is this house coming? You got to learn to be patient. You got to learn to be patient. We got a, uh, we're in a goddamn pandemic right now. Literally. And we got people that are struggling, just struggling with their job loss, their people, family members that have crossed over. And we got people that are like, okay, I, I get that that's happening, but spirit, you know, don't, don't deal with that right now. Come over here and take care of me with this situation. And I know that sounds, you know, like I'm trying to guilt people, but I mean, we got to be realistic about what's going on in this world, what's going on in this time not only in the physical, but also in the spiritual, because there's a lot that's going on in the spiritual. And for a lot of you, spirit is trying to protect you. They really are. They're moving things out the way. They're navigating things that may make you uncomfortable. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get to the destination. It just means that you may get there later. Or there may be some things that need to change up about that destination. So when you're dealing with manifestation, and you wanting to rush it, it's not in your best interest to do that. It's really not. There's a lot that needs to be fixed. It's a lot of things that need to be seen clearly for manifestation to work. 
you have to be able to focus with intent. And sometimes you can't do that when you're too emotional or you're living out of fear, which means that there's healing that needs to be done. So if you keep hitting these blocks and you're like, why aren't things opening up for me? Then we got to go back to the origin and say, is there trauma? Is there inner child work? You know, where's this fear coming from? Where is this, this thing where I feel like I need to, everything has to happen now. What are you trying to bypass that you don't want to work on that you're trying to rush to make this happen? Because I guarantee you, once you start healing certain things in your life, you're going to find out your manifestation gets stronger, happens quicker. You think about it, you speak it, it happens. And there are a lot of people that can do that. And it's because they've done the work. They've healed. They made that connection with spirit and they're moving forward. So when you come into my inbox and you're talking about when is it going to happen? Why hasn't it happened? I'm going to be like, what did you do? Where are you at on your journey? What have you healed? What blocks did you encounter that we need to work through? What do we need to navigate? For some of us, it's going to cause us to really look at ourselves and go, you know what? Maybe I need therapy because we got self-imposed fear sometimes that definitely cause things not to manifest properly or manifest in a time that we want. And it could be because we're scared. So we got to figure out what it is before we try to rush it. You know, a lot of times when I read for people and somebody comes in really fast with love, I'm like, okay, what are they hiding? You know, you met me two weeks ago and now you love me and you want to marry me. Wait a minute. No, player. No. What's going on? You got three baby mamas. You got mental illness. You got what's, what, what's there? Because whenever you try to rush something, what is it that, that needs to be dealt with that you're trying to, you're, you're jumping over that may cause that end point not to be what you want, not to be right. So don't come in the inbox. Mambo, mambo, mambo. Make it happen, mambo, because I ain't going to go there with you like that. I'm going to be like, come on, we fixing to heal. We fixing to do some shit. We fixing to make make these obstacles, you know, move. But we're going to do it properly because to me, properly gives you long-term. Long-term manifestation. Long-term growth. And it's because you're getting rid of things that are blocking you. So be prepared. You come in with that bull crap, you know, make this happen. Go out there, dance under the moon, naked, call spirit down faster. And I ain't doing none of that. I ain't doing none of that. I'm going to be like, get your notebook out. Here's your homework. This is some shit that you need to work on so that you can move forward in your life. If you don't want to do the work, then you wasted my time, your time, and spirit time. And that'll be up to you. But if you really want to connect with spirit, you got to be honest. You have to go in honest and you have to be willing to do what needs to be done to make that connection so that they can open doors up for you. Spirit knows bullshit. They do. They do. So manifesting, not putting yourself out there, not putting the work behind it, not being in a level of maturity where you literally can deal with the things. Those things have to be dealt with, you guys. They have to. And when you deal with them, I guarantee it, you'll see it. You'll see it move. I've been there. I've dealt with depression. I dealt with self-imposed fears. There's moments where I'm still scared and I push through because I know to get where I need to go, I have to do the work. Whether that is meditation, whether it is spiritual consultation, spiritual baths, therapy, whatever it is, I got to do the work. If I don't do the work, the outcome may not be what I need it to be. And that would be a waste of my time. It's like when you know on TikTok where they doing all this walking in place, this slow motion shit that everybody is doing right now. Come on. Come on. After this year, shit, we need to be ready to move forward, which means that your manifestation should be on point. But use this year to get this stuff out. Whatever needs to be cleared, use this time to work on you. Don't be in my inbox trying to rush me. Figure out what the hell needs to be fixed. Then we'll talk. All right. Love you guys.